Former Sony chairman Sean Layden tells gamers, if they don't like Ghost of Yote, don't buy it. That never works out the way they want. Don't like it, don't watch it. Don't like it, don't buy it. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's a former chairman though, right? So, yes. It's it's this still holds uh, in, in a way because um it's something it's it's something that they all say right it's like I guarantee you that Erica Ishii is gonna be say say something if you if you don't if you don't like a female lead don't buy it don't play it it's like all right we're not gonna do it because we if you tell us to do something that we are already like already against it's like ugh, it's like hopefully there's no woke shit in it you know same thing with um you know. Hopefully, there's no woke shit in G4. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Peace. All right, cool. We're not going to watch it anyways, but you sort of like solidified our decision. So the thing is, Ghost of Tsushima was a really good game. Now, it did lose out to Last of Us 2 for game of the year. Remember, Last of of Us 2 is the best game ever. Even till to this day, I think Last of Us 2 will beat Black Myth Wukong. Yeah, oh, it's not really surprising in the game awards with Geoff Keighley. Yeah, it's actually not far far fetched idea. It sounds like a joke, but I wouldn't be surprised if it actually happened. Yeah, and this year's Game of the War goes to The Last of Us Two Remastered. <laughs> yeah, get it for PS Five Pro to get the enhanced performance. Oh man. All right, let's see. Uh, uh, Former Sony chairman Sean Layden told gamers if they're uninterested or don't like the Ghost of Tsushima sequel, Ghost of Yote, they should not buy it. Layden shared his comments while reacting to YouTuber Endymion's initial reactions to the game's trailer. He wrote, Ghost of Tsushima sequel stars Japanese woman samurai warrior because of course it does. They can't help themselves until every franchise that was built on masculinity is replaced by woman. He added, Ghost of Yote is hopefully a small spinoff of the game, but it is the true sequel, and this is the new main character over Jin Sakai. Fuck that. So sick of this for- forced girl boss narrative. Now, according to what I heard, uh, Atsu and the Ghost of Yote is about 300 years into the future. Yeah. Right? So, in my opinion, yes, it is a sequel, but it's not like, you're continuing Jin Sakai's story. Yeah. Right. And all of a sudden, yeah. okay, you start the game off of Jin Sakai, right? In Ghost of, Ghost of Tsushima 2 or Ghost of Yote. He goes into, you, you go into Yote and then uh, you meet this guy and then he beats you with a golf club. And then all of a sudden, Atsu comes in, right? Like, then, yes, I can see why people are extremely upset. Like, I, I know where Endymion's coming from. I get it. It's because a lot of times that it, that whenever a male protagonist is being replaced with a female protagonist, most, if not all the time, it, it's pandering and it's, it's not good. It's not done in a respectful way. And that's the reason why we in the gaming sphere, as such as even like in Demion here, we've been, you know, we've been eating shit for the longest time already. It's like, oh, it's, it's yeah. not going to be like that, right? And then all of a sudden, woke shit, woke shit, or replace a male with female characters or something like that, right? Oh, make the male characters uh, little pussies and bring in a strong female character. Look, I, I get it. But the thing is that this game isn't out yet. And I think it's just like, I know that he's cautious about it. Is he optimistic? I don't think so. It's because we're not going to hold our breath because this has been done over and over again. I don't know. How, yeah. how do you feel about that? Yeah, it's more of like, uh, yeah, as you say, it's because of what's ha- been happening in re- the past decade. Like, th- we see this woke stuff slowly permeating and festering more and more. It's pr- it started with TV shows, with movies. Now it's really heavily into video games now. So, I- again, I also understand. I also mentioned in my tweet, like, I understand where these people are coming from and it's justified and warranted. But yeah, until we know more, because, like, this is, if this came from, like, you know the makers of dust board yeah i would react the same way too but <laughs> <laughs> like if but if this came from sucker punch so i i'm still willing to give them the benefit of the doubt like they may do right by it. like cuz you know like if i mean i can argue they did the same thing with near cuz like in near replicant the main character said dude it's near 
then in near Automata, it's to be a female lead. And no, I, I gave up. I think people are okay with it because she's hot. Yeah. Yeah. Now, here's that, the thing. Let, let's say if Ghost of Yote's main character looked exactly like Eve from Stellar Blade. Would people uh, be okay uh, with it? Uh, generally, yes. But I can imagine a huge chunk of the people say, this is not like, they want, I think a part, part of the audience for this franchise wants to keep the authenticity of Japan during that time. So, so I don't think if you make it su a super busty female, I don't think it fits in the timeline. Uh, so, no, but... it, it does, Gray. It does. <laughs> All right. Big ass and big tits fit in any timeline. <laughs> then there's also that audience, too. Oh, shit. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, but you yeah, have a point. That, that audience, I think, is going to be the more dominant one. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit but yeah man uh here's another one over here mighty keith i don't know who this is but i know that he has a big following uh youtuber mighty keith reacted by this by attacking demon writing man what an absolute loser Layden responded to this post writing one it's a game entertainment and a story of team of creatives they uh believes in they want to make this he added, too, it's a game. If you don't like it, don't buy it. In fact, why not make the game you want yourself? Right? And that's like, as a person, of course, he has all the flags on his, uh, you know, on his profile. But the thing is, that saying stuff like that, it's like you're purposefully, like, let's say if they're calling us the trolls, or if they're calling us the assholes, right? You're basically poking at the trolls. Like, hey, hey. I'm saying this about you. Do your own shit. It's like, this is not going to give you any more fans. Like, here's the thing. A lot of the woke people, like half of them don't buy video games to haul, and half of them don't actually watch those TV nerd, nerdy TV shows that we, we watch. They just don't. They're just part of the culture war. It's because, oh, if, if it makes the trolls, the Republicans, conservatives, uh, the gamer gators upset, it's worth it to participate. And that's how it is. Now, uh, the thing is that we've got a lot of shit that's been coming out as of late already. Like a lot, there's a lot of good stuff, there's a lot of really, really bad stuff. And, you know, we got the Lord of the Rings stuff. They're basically, you know, uh, you know emasculating a lot of the men and, and basically propping up all the women. And the reason why I do understand why Endymion and a lot of other people are worried is because even someone like me was blocked. Yeah, and I like and like and like I said, I don't say anything controversial like eating dogs or cats, <laughs> right? This is Asian yeah. on Asian violence, man. Like the thing is, I don't know her. I've never won. Yeah, but interact yeah, with her, her. Like, why am I? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I noticed that the people she preemptively block are those that really call out to the uh, hypnotic, uh, Pratanga. A lot of people that call out the DEI stuff. So for me, that's. I can assume that she's like more on the woke side, but I will not uh, use her as a reason why I think the game will suck. I, for me, I still need to learn more. Like, like she could be the person. Like, she has shitty politics, sure, but she does. She, she's, uh, she doesn't put it in game. She doesn't like you know force it into the game. But yeah. at the same time, I could be wrong. It's like whenever we see more about Sucker Punch, oh, oh, we think. This game should be empowering females. Okay, then then I'm wrong. Okay, okay, guys, you're right. You're right to be um to be cautious about this game. It's gonna suck. And I could say that in the future, or, or it can still be good too, despite having the female lead and having her yeah as the lead actress. Like and, and that 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 is our hope as as gamers, right? We yeah. want and, and, and even or, or any type of medium. I don't care if you're woke as fuck. Don't have it seep into your story or your video games. By any like by any means necessary is because we we can sniff that shit from a mile away, right? If you want your games, your movies, your TV shows to do good, keep your politics out of it unless the politics makes sense within the story, right? If if it makes sense for like I I remember there was a there was a, a Sons of Anarchy character that ends up becoming like a trans character, right? I, I and I believe uh, uh Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers talked about this in his video earlier when he was uh, talking. Uh, making a video about Aspen Gold, it's it makes sense, right? But it's like if you're propping up identity politics in place of 
legit storytelling, then that's why people will call it out. Now, like I said, like she's she's this lady's an insanely woke person. Like she's a crazy activist. And the thing is that if you go onto her profile, she uses all the pronouns. So that's like a major red flag already. Like, like yeah. that's the thing that people are like nervous. Yeah. It's like, dude, Ghost of Tsushima is really good. Right? Even Ubisoft is afraid of Ghost of Yote because it looks really, really close to Assassin's Creed Shadows. So yeah. I, I, for one, just hope that her politics does not see, uh, her politics does not seep into the game because we have stuff like Doctor Who. We have Acolyte. We have uh, Rings of Power. You know, all of these garbage stuff that's been coming out with, like the, like the media and Hollywood has been coming out with, like we're done. And like just, you know, we finally got something good. Let's hope that Erica Ishii just shuts her mouth. And I'm pretty sure it, like, she, she's, she's a very vocal person, right? She, yeah, she, yeah. So we hope that she gets the Disney treatment that they gave to Rachel Zegler. Like, dude, just shut up. Like, just, just shut up and, like, don't say anything online. Don't engage with any, like, of the people that you disagree with. We want this game to be good. And I think it's, it's that easy for them. But I, with someone like her, with that side cut hair, that, 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 that shaved side, the only thing that her, I, I know that she has different hair colors before too, but like, she was one of those people who's like, oh, I, I love Harry Potter. I've been a big Harry Potter fan my entire life. Hogwarts Legacy come out. Oh, I hate Harry Potter because of J.K. Rowling. All of a sudden, mm -hmm. right? So like, she, mm -hmm. she is crazy. But yeah, man. Are you going to play it? I gotta finish uh, Tsushima first. I've been mean. I want to make a video that I, I've been behind on my gaming stuff and my personal stuff. But yeah, I hope to. Well, depends. Depends if we if we if we find out like they're doubling down the woke stuff. Probably not anymore. But Ghost of Tsushima, I do want to finish eventually. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.